everybody welcome back to my channel in this video today i want to show you how i'm going to be making a valentine's day unicorn mailbox out of paper for my daughter and a dinosaur um mailbox for my son and this was inspired of when i went to target and i was looking for valentine's day items that i was going to give out to the kids of both my son's class and my daughter's class so I wanted to buy these, but they're $5 each. And I was like, well, I am a DIY mom. I should already have all these items at my house. So why not? And it's going to cost me $0. But if you go to the Dollar Tree and get a couple of items, I'm sure it's going to be less than $5. So let's get started. To start off this dinosaur, I sketched out the body onto a piece of white paper and I already had this great poster board from the Dollar Tree and I grabbed a piece of it and I folded it in half so when I traced it and cut it, I have two of the same pieces. And after I have that, I'm going to use a green marker that I also had from the Dollar Tree and I'm just tracing the nose part, the eye and the mouth part and also the foot so i go back to my sketch and i use a yellow construction paper and then i'm just going to cut out the triangle that i sketched out and i'm going to trace it onto the yellow construction paper and i'm going to cut two of them to put on one on each um, side of the dinosaur you're also going to need a pink construction paper. I'm going to cut the inside and trace it again onto the pink construction paper and I'm going to do that for both sides as you can see here and then once I glue it I'm going to um, get the yellow construction paper again and outline the circles that I sketched out for the eyes because the eyes are yellow and I already had this uh, sticky foam uh, pages and I'm just going to cut out another smaller circle and um, stick it onto the eye part. Now to fix my mistake I did for the mouth, I'm just using a green highlighter to highlight and make some shade for the dinosaur. Now I'm just going to grab my white piece of paper and outline the teeth part so the teeth are white and stand out more in the mouth. So once I finish doing that, I'm going to grab more of the black foam and cut triangles or diamonds and put them onto the dinosaur. Next, I'm going to grab more of the green poster board and I'm going to make the arms, the feet, and um, I'm going to make a little heart in the front. And um, I didn't like the hands, so I redid them. As you can see here, I grabbed some cardboard and I traced the body of the dinosaur and I'm just going to cut it. After I do that, I grab more of my green poster that I had left behind and I'm going to make the chest part first so I started with the chest part and then I made little slits and then also the bottom part and I made little slits as well and then I measured um, the whole body part and I made slits on that too as you can see here so I did both the chest 
the bottom part and the back part of the dinosaur and my slits. Now I'm going to use my hot glue gun to um, to form this uh, mailbox into a 3D. So I'm going to start with the bottom part, as you can see here, and then I'm going to go to the chest area. Then I'm going to go to the back area. All the way to the front, all the way to the head of the dinosaur, as you can see here. Once I do that, I'm making sure I close it up. Now I'm going to do the chin area of the dinosaur. And I did cut a piece of paper that was a little bit longer, so just in case uh, I'm able to cut it. Instead of having less, I would rather have a little bit more. As you can see, I cut it and then I'm going to be making the slits for the teeth. Just little triangles. I'm just making sure that I have everything. Now I'm going to stick the chin part to the chest part, making sure it's nice and closed. And I grab some more of the yellow construction paper for the chest area. So for the unicorn, I googled unicorn head, click on that drawing, and then I was looking at all the unicorn heads and I came across this one right here and I decided to save it onto my desktop. Once I already have it saved onto my desktop, then I'm going to open a Microsoft Office blank page. Then I'm going to drag and drop it onto that page. And once I do that, then I'm going to click the landscape button because that's what I wanted it to be. And I'm going to stretch it out, obviously. But here you can also grab the right corner and then just flip it onto the other side to the left really quickly to flip the image and you can do two pages one for the right side and one for the left because you need uh, two of them alternatively not you don't print uh, the unicorn on the same side and there you go and then you just print um, in color I decided not to print the horn because I was going to do it uh, in 3d with some colored paper so I did lose most of the footage to make uh, this thing but I mean it's pretty much the same thing as the dinosaur that I made so I had everything um, in my house so I did not spend anything
right guys so that is it for today and for all of those mommies watching this to do this activity at home with your kids i hope this will save a little money on doing a little activity for valentine's day and so your kids can have their little cards from their friends and february all about love and friendship and kindness so spread the love guys and have a great day Bye.